Hey guys, it's me, Corey, and today I want to teach you about data stores. I'm going to be short and sweet since that's pretty much what my name is for, so let's get right to it. So I'm going to set a variable ds equals game get service data store service. This gets the service, and what we can do is we can already go ahead and do the colon. You don't have to do the colon for the DS. You can just go down the thing. I'm just going to do that for simplistic purposes, but storage equals DS get data store. And then we're going to name it scene before because I'm actually going to show you it working and stuff in game. Now data stores won't work in studio because the client and the server are both linked. So uh, let's just get to it. Uh, let's see. Key. Uh, so uh, game dot players player added connect function player that's going to be our player function and let's make a key local key just to make it simple equals player dot user id you don't want to use player dot name because People oftentimes change their name, like uh, Bereza changed his name from Bereza Returns, Bereza 12, Bereza here, whatever. Um, so we have local key equals player dot user ID. Um, what we can do now is local player storage equals. Um, storage get async key now this will retrieve the key from the data store if it already exists and what we can do is we can put an if function player storage then and if it doesn't exist we can just go ahead and put an else you know operator and we can just make it so we can make it so that we can set the player storage set async um sorry storage set async and let's key one and let's make it so that it prints and let's just say ne jamais vu never seen before if you don't speak French and for this one print Deja vu. And this is how you successfully create a storage. Um, there's also ways that you can make it so that it sets a particular value. I will get into that right now. If it'll work. Yeah, see, deja vu after I join the game. So let's see before one. Let's change the storage. And let's keep that the same. Deja vu. Okay. Print deja vu. Uh, space player storage. Times 
uh, space. And we can make it so that this storage set async key um player storage plus one and that is how you do that so let's just publish and that's one That's two. Deja vu two times. There we go, guys. Now, um, I think that's all I'm going to cover for this video. It's quite a short tutorial. Uh, tell me what you think of these uh, shorter ones. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and tell me how you feel in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one.